of dishes, utensils, or equipment that comes into contact with food should be cleaned before it is sanitized. This includes cutting boards, stationary equipment, work tables and utensils, surface equipment, flatware and utensils, and dining room surfaces. Manual cleaning begins with fresh soapy water in a sink or designated pail and ends with rinsing of the work surface. Water used to clean needs to be changed frequently. Soap becomes less effective at removing food and other particles as the water collects more food particles and other matter. At a minimum, change wash water before each meal. If washable cloths are used, get a clean one each time you change the wash water as it is hard to clean with dirty tools. It is recommended that clean linens for the kitchen be kept in a separate area from those used in other areas of the facility, such as for custodial or recreational purposes. Now, let's look at step two, sanitizing. Sanitizing is done after washing and rinsing are completed. When serving to the public, it is important that food contact surfaces are sanitized after cleaning to prevent foodborne illness. There are two ways of sanitizing dishware and equipment, either mechanically through a dishwashing machine or manually using a three compartment sink. For mechanical sanitizing, heat sanitizing with high temperatures or chemicals can be used. Heat sanitizing uses hot water. The final hot water sanitizing rinse temperature will vary depending on type of machine. Check machine instructions. A final rinse temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit when water exits the machine is typical. Consult with your local health inspector if you have questions regarding final rinse temperature for the type of machine in your facility. The water temperature should be checked when beginning dishwashing at each meal period to make sure the machine is working properly and heat sanitizing is occurring. Simply reading gauges on the dish machine is not enough. In order to be sure that the water is hot enough, you need to periodically check it using a temperature sensitive strip or dish machine thermometer. The water temperature when it comes in contact with the dishware should be at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature sensor strips are available to measure a variety of temperatures. Attach the strip to a serving dish or other flat item and send it through the machine. The temperature strip will turn black if the proper temperature has been reached. Use of the temperature sensor strip verifies proper sanitation has occurred. Record the gauge temperatures at each meal as a way of documenting proper operation of the machine. Attach the strip to the cleaning and sanitizing log to verify the dish machine was working properly. Other types of test strips can be put in the tines of a fork and sent through the machine. These strips will